What's up you guys, it's Adana, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, take a look around. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. So I had a question about the various different accreditation statuses of PA schools. So that is what this video is going to be about. So for the accreditation statuses, you should go to our pa.org and that is where you will find all of the information on accreditation and review of you know pa schools and such that's our accrediting body so here um, i'm going to go to arcpa.org so that you all can see and i'm going to share my screen with you so that you can also see exactly what i'm talking about so it's arcpa you can go on this and it will have a list of all of the various different PA schools. So now there are different um, things, like I said, you can have provisional, you can have continuing um, accreditation, you can have probationary accreditation. And in that, I think there are like two different levels of being on probation. And so I'm gonna go through what those levels are and then again, show you on my screen exactly what they're talking about. So when you have a provisional accreditation, that just means you're really a new school, right? So you are, provisional for no more than five years. And in that five years, you have to get reviewed three times. I don't know if there's like a certain time specifically that you're gonna get reviewed every time, like every 1.5 years or whatnot. I think that varies from the school and how quickly you get the various different things that they're asking you to update or fix, accomplish, but you, cannot be on probation for, um, you cannot be on a provisional status for more than five years. So this is kind of what all new schools, like very new schools, not developing programs, but like the provisional, like they've gone through the ARC accreditation process. And so they've been granted provisional status. Now this does not mean that you are going to get continuing status because there are some schools that can go on provisional and then withdraw their um, accreditation process from ARC and then kind of come back to it again. So it's no guarantee that you're going to have continued status, but that is the first step in getting continuing status. On the website, there is a place where you can actually go see that. Let me see if I can find that for you all. Accreditation process. And in this, this is gonna actually talk to you about all of, give you a more detailed breakdown about all of what it takes to become accredited. And then also it's gonna talk to you about everything that you want to know as a PA student going into this in terms of like what the various different accreditation statuses mean. So here, when you go to the currently accredited programs, if you click on provisional, then it will pop up to what I was talking about with what the various different statuses mean. As I said, this is usually granted to an initial like applicant school. This is a newly program that's been developed and you have students, um, you know, coming in and you're getting granted this provisional status for no more than five years and you'll get reviewed every three years. And so the thing with provisional status, let's say, um, for whatever reason you do not get a like your full accreditation, it's hard because you have to graduate from an accredited program. And so that's why it's important to look at all of these various different statuses because you don't want the school that you're applying to to be a school that's losing their accreditation because you're kind of out of luck at that point in time. So <laughs> you have to graduate from an accredited program to actually sit your boards and become an official certified PA. So it's important for you to look at the various different statuses. The next status that we're gonna talk about is probation, right? And I know in the video, I was like, well, I only want schools that are continuing status. I don't want anyone on probation. But I mean, some people might not care about that. But I know when I was applying to PA school, I didn't want anyone on probation because I knew that if they lost their accreditation, then I would not be able to graduate. I would not be able to sit for my boards. Um, you will, the school will still make provisions for you to graduate, but you wouldn't be able to sit for your boards. So you, I think you would have to like transfer to another program or they'd try to like negotiate something with another school to take some of their students, which who wants that hassle, right? But when you're on probation, it's a temporary status, right? So like something happened, you did something wrong, your school didn't meet some particular standard, and so you've gotten probationary status. 
However, in that probationary status, you can also have like an administrative probation, meaning that once the program was not compliant with the administrative requirements, so a failure to pay fees or submit required reports, so you can get on administrative probation for that. If you don't fix those requirements in a timely fashion, then you're gonna have like a focus visit and you're at risk of losing your accreditation. And so that's what that means. Then the big daddy, the one that you kind of really want all of your schools to have is continuing accreditation. Continuing accreditation is a status that remains in effect until the program closes or withdraws from the accreditation process or until accreditation is withdrawn for failure to comply with the standards. So there are various different um, like letters and sections in this. So you can have a D next to the school, which indicates that the accreditation incorporates one or more campus. So I know like Arcadia has like three different campuses and it has like one in Del two in Delaware and one in Philadelphia or it's two different campuses. So that will have, if they have accreditation, they'll have accreditation for their main campus and then their distance and then their distant campus. And then you have an F in there that indicates that um, the program may have a focus visit in their next ARC review. And the focus visit is like, you know, you being called into the principal's office. So like, it's just something for you to be aware of because if they don't do what they needed to do on their focus visit, then again, accreditation could be withdrawn or you know they'll just get um, put on probation. And then the hashtag indicates that the program was closed for a period of time since being first accredited. You know, that could be for a number of reasons. Who knows? Like, it doesn't always have to be something nefarious, but um, a program can close and then reopen and then go through their accreditation status and now they're accredited again. So I just want to show you guys on this exactly um, what those different areas look like. So... Let me see. So Stanford University is provisional and it has that little asterisk next to, next to it, okay? Um, you see all of these continuing education, continued um, status, and then again, more provisional. There are 250 entries right now. Um, and you know that there are more than 282 schools. So not all schools have been accredited by ARC. So that's just something to be aware of. So Samuel Merritt University. So this one says, probation and um, it has an F next to it. And if you guys remember, it's like pop quick. What did I tell you those meant? So it's on probation because of something that occurred um, at the school and then F because they're gonna have a focus visit in the near future. And so we can click on that again and it will take you to the two asterisk probation, um, what that means, which is if they still fail to comply with their accreditation requirements in a timely manner, they may be scheduled for a focus visit. So Samuel Merritt is scheduled for a focus visit and a program on probation must provide clear evidence of progress towards improving the program by the next ARCPA review. So that is what that means, all right? Um, Charles R. Drew is provisional because it is a fairly new school. I guess um, within the last five years, it's been in the process of accreditation and I said hashtag what does the hashtag mean so the hashtag if you go back to that indicates that the program was closed for a period of time and then is reopened so maybe the program had a continued accreditation it closed down and then it started back and now it's going through the process again those are just things that you can be aware of and you can ask um, on your interview and I know that a lot of us are like oh man like this is the interview like I don't know if I should ask that like I'm really because you're just so desperate right you're so desperate to get into PA school I remember that feeling like just being mad desperate to get into PA school I just want to get in um, and once I'm in then I know that I'm safe but no, like that is not like, I don't think that's the mentality that we should always go in because if you are getting an interview, that obviously means that the school wants you. And I think that it's well within your right and, um, you know, just kind of your priority, I feel, to do so in terms of asking these hard questions like, hey, I see that your school is on probationary status through ARCPA. What does that mean? These are questions that you can ask just to make sure that you make the best 
informed decision for you as a student or a possible student of this program. Because if they lose accreditation and you're still completing the program, then what does that mean for you? So these are all of the things that you should take into consideration and definitely um, look into when you're applying to the various different programs because it will help you make a better decision on how you should move forward as a pre-PA uh, in the future. So thank you for asking that question. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Also, please follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA, like this video, and I will talk to you guys next time.